Who's that stumbling around in the dark? State your business or prepare to get winged. Calm yourself, gentlemen. I mean you no harm. I'm simply a fellow weary traveler. Whoa. Good cold evening, gentlemen. I'm looking for a pair of slave traders that go by the name of the Speck Brothers. Might that be you? Who wants to know? Well, I do. I'm Dr. King Schultz. This is my horse, Fritz. What kind of doctor? Dentist? Now, are you the Speck Brothers? And did you purchase those men at the Greenville slave auction? So what? So I wish to parlay with you. Speak English. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. It is a second language. Now, amongst your inventory, I've been led to believe, is a specimen I'm keen to acquire. Hello, you poor devils. Is there one amongst you who was formerly a resident of the Karukan Plantation? I'm from the Karukan Plantation. Who said that? What's your name? Django. Then you're exactly the one I'm looking for. Do you know who the Brittle Brothers are? Who are they? Big John. Ellis. Roger. Sometimes they call him Little Raj. There was overseers at the Karukan plantation. Not anymore. Tell me, if you were to see any of these three gentlemen again, would you recognize them? Hey, stop talking to him like that. Like what? Like that. My good man, I'm simply trying to ascertain. Speak English, goddammit. Everybody calm down. I'm simply a customer trying to conduct a transaction. I don't care. No sale. Now off with you. Don't be ridiculous. Of course they're for sale. Move it. My good man, did you simply get carried away with your dramatic gesture, or are you pointing your weapon at me with lethal intention? Last chance, fancy pants. Oh, very well. <laughs> to put a bullet in your beast, but I didn't want you to do anything rash before you had a moment to come to your senses. You goddamn son of a bitch! You shot Roscoe! Well, and you killed Ace! No, I only shot your brother once he threatened to shoot me. And I do believe I have one, two, three, four, five witnesses who can attest to that fact. Damn legs busted! No doubt. Now, uh, if you could keep your caterwauling down to a minimum, I'd like to finish my line of inquiry with young Django. God fucking damn it! As I was saying, if you were to see the Riddle Brothers again, you could recognize them. Yeah. Sold American! So, Mr. Speck, Mr. Speck, how much for young Django here? That iron is nasty business. Look, 
could you hold this for a moment? Thank you. Django, get up on that horse. Also, if I were you, I'd take that winter coat the dear departed Speck left behind. One hundred, ten, twenty, and five for young Django here. And since he won't be needing it anymore, I'd like to purchase your brother's nag. Also, Mr. Speck, I'm afraid I'll require a bill of sale. Do you have one? You go to hell, dentist. I thought not. No worries. I come prepared. This will serve nicely as a bill of sale. Whoa. Now, as to you, poor devils. So as I see it, when it comes to the subject of what to do next, you gentlemen have two choices. One, once I'm gone, you could lift that beast off the remaining speck, then carry him to the nearest town, which would be at least 37 miles back the way you came. Or two, you could unshackle yourselves, take that rifle, put a bullet in his head, bury the two of them deep, and then make your way to a more enlightened area of this country. Choice is yours. Oh, and on the off chance there are any astronomy aficionados amongst you, the North Star is that one. Ta-da! Now wait a minute, fellas. Let's talk about this. You gotta be reasonable in a situation like this. I'm not a bad guy, I just, I'm just doing my job. Blueberry, didn't I give you my last apple? Tell you what, boys, take me to the dock in El Paso, I'll get you your freedom. No, no, please. <laughs>